signing day at our academy. It's really a celebration because years of work of building relationships with players and their Buscones in the, uh, in the Dominican and actually throughout Latin America, and then cultivating that relationship, getting a chance to watch them play in as many settings as possible, because in many cases, we're starting to you know, watch players play as young as you know, 13, 14 years old, and you know, it's only a couple years after that that they sign, so it's an incredible amount of work uh, that our Latin American scouting staff puts in just to get to know players. International Signing Day. They actually put pen to paper and made a commitment to be a professional athlete for the Cleveland Guardians. That started their development process where they'll be in this building day in and day out starting that training process. Now that's on the, the baseball side. On the life side, it's a signal of, to their families and everyone else that I'm going to leave home and dedicate myself to my career in hopes of fulfilling my dream of playing at the major league level. Like you saw tears, you saw excitement, you saw lots of pictures. It was a great day, but it's just the beginning. So some of it is, and even some life-changing money, but it's just the beginning on the journey that these players are about to take. Right after signing day, we get them a place within our organization. So in this particular case, we have 88 beds upstairs in various rooms. So they will go right into our training program. Most of it right here in this room, starting with strength and conditioning, um, with our strength and conditioning staff, meeting with our life skills staff, meeting with our education staff, and building those relationships and individual plans for each player. And then we'll get out on the fields. Like, you guys will get to see the beautiful fields and cages that we have. They'll be working right away. So T minus 48 hours from signing. Uh, they're out on the field starting their career. And uh, we'll have various camps between now and when their actual on the field games occur in June. It's such a long journey for these, these players. I mean, longer than, than the American players because they're signed um, by the time they reach age 16. And so you, you hear about them when we sign them, and then they kind of disappear from at least my perspective up here in Cleveland because they're being developed down in the Dominican Republic. And then they start the journey. Those who are successful come over to the United States. They go to Arizona and they spend maybe a year or two there and then they start to work their way up through the system. And, and you know, it's nice when you see an Oscar Gonzalez, you know, we talked about Jose already, but there have been any number of Dominican players who've come through that, Oscar being the, the most a recent example of somebody who appears to be on the way to stardom. And that's extraordinarily rewarding to see that the system really works.